Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Jones Ultra Mind Expander. This board features Jones's Christensen Surf Camber, which is rocker in the nose, camber underfoot, shorter rocker in the tail, with some 3D shaping to it. What this is gonna give you is all the load, pop, snap, and drive of camber underfoot, but you're gonna have that ease of entry in and out of turns from that rocker in the tips, as well as more optimal powder float. This board's available in 150, 154, 158, and 162. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on an overcast day with pockets of blue. You had a couple inches of fresh, you had leftover baked pow, chopped chunder, perfect quarter, kind of just a mix of mid-season conditions, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. The overall flex of this board comes in past middle of the road, but it's not a full-blown plank. You do have a directional flex, which means softer nose, stiffer midsection, and then the tail is slightly softer than the middle, but it's definitely stiffer than the nose. The torsional flex is highly abundant. At speeds on a groomer, you do get a little flap that reverberates slightly underfoot, so you will feel that a little bit in fresh pow that completely disappears. What you need to know though, is when you get into choppy terrain, this board will cut through everything. You might feel a more jarring hit under the front foot if you hit it that way, but it's not enough to actually buck you. This board does a great job of being stable and damp where it counts without being a lifeless turd. The camber profile on this board is easy to engage. And when you're in fresh snow, it helps you porpoise through it with relative ease. You can basically load it up, engage that little rocker in the tail and get a little bit of spring. It's not the snappiest board out there, but it's got more than enough to boost a side hit, launch a roller, pop a pillow, and even boost over a family of fat skiers that somehow found their way into your favorite powder run then they shouldn't be there. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Tim. You know better. Why did you take your whole family there? So one thing I want to talk about is the 3D shaping on this board. When you're spinning around on your nose or your tail, more specifically your nose, you can just keep that momentum going without really having to pop the 180 so you can get up on it and kind of just roll right around with it and it's not going to be hooky if you want to pop into it go for it you got this rocker in the nose it locks in and it holds with the tail you can pop get sideways with it pop a 180 press it like it's your nose on a groomer if you absolutely want to i don't know why you would but you can Basically, if you know how to butter, you're not gonna have a problem with this. If you don't know how to butter, you might wanna look at like maybe the regular Mind Expander instead if you're looking for a power board you can butter. Here's what I like about this board. When you engage the camber profile and put it up on edge, it's smooth and fluid. You notice that you're driving it right outside your front foot. And with the torsional flex being abundant, you can really ankle steer this board, which helps you change the apex of the carve or the angle that you're actually with. So if you're doing a long, hard, drawn out carve, it locks in, you get that power from the middle of the board back through the tail. Medium, mellow carves, you can swoop in and out as you please. And those short, tight, quick setup carves are ideal on this board. Basically, if you know how to carve, you're not gonna have a bad time on this board. It grips and rips. You got power where you absolutely need it, but it's not a board that you have to be on top of at all times. Who's this board for? The resort powder hound that contends with groomers from time to time. I always forget how much I actually enjoy this board until I get on it and then I'm reminded, oh yeah, I forgot this thing exists and it rips. It floats well, it turns well, it kind of just does everything you need it to do on a resort powder day, and that's perfect. It's lively where it counts, but it's still stable enough to plow through the chop, the chunder, and not have to worry about it. Overall, it's a great board for what it is. Comparable boards, the K2 Excavator, the Battalion Thunderstorm, the Capita Navigator. Binding recommendations, the Jones Mercury, the Union Strata, the Battalion Astro ASIM. This has been my review of the Jones Ultra Mind Expander. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here, do you want to support us further? Swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, David Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.